between in the Mario cast and Sonic the Hedgehog's uh, main line of characters. So let's begin. Let's start off with the easiest comparison, Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog. According to Shigeru Miyamoto, uh, he said that uh, Mario uh, was inspired by the classic cartoon character Popeye. While on the other hand, Sonic was created to counteract Mario and and represent the Attitude Era of the So 90s. just remember, if Sonic was, was created today, then he'd be preaching that it's every day, bro, with that Disney Channel flow. Five million YouTube in six months, never done before. Past all the competition and PewDiePie is next, and I'm popping all these checks in the brand new Rolex. And then met the Lambo too, and I come in with the crew. This is Team Ten, bitch. Who the hell up flipping you? And you know I kick them out if they ain't with the crew. I want yeah, to die. I'm about you, you begging for attention. I want, I want to die. die. With a two, but you still. Uh, oh, sorry about that. But anyways, so oh look, my mom's here. Mom, can you uh, snap your fingers? To All right, now I'm gonna teleport. All right, my mom is Thanos. Oh boy, I, I wish that worked like that in Infinity War. That would have saved a lot of tears. Oh, that, uh, give me a moment. Alright, now I'm ready to continue the video. Now, what makes this comparison so easy to begin with would have to be for the fact being that they're both the main characters of their own, own respective But franchise. little do you know that these characters are way more different than you may think. Now, by pure coincidence, they made Mario's fire suit look like, like a communism. What I mean is symbol. the colors that are associated with communism. They noticed that Mario kind of looked like a communist. So what Sega decided to do when they were making in the first Sonic game was to make Sonic look like, like a complete and other American dream. We will make dream. the Green Hill Zone great again. Not to mention, compared to Mario, Sonic is really sarcastic and snarky. <laughs> Baldy well. nose hair. That's the best thing I've heard all day! Fuck this! I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands up! I'm not starting my fucking self! You fucking stupid bitch! This stupid fucking justice, oh fucking righteous fucking nigger! Shit, I didn't know Mario was so ill-tempered. Because he isn't. That was Keemstar. <laughs> Lol. But anyways, uh, let's just continue before I get a bunch of death threats in the comments. Usually, Mario's actually oh. really happy. Yahoo! 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 
However, the sad thing is, Mario doesn't really talk that much, and those yippies and yahoos are like the only things he could say, almost like if he has like a mental disability or something. Hell, even in games where the mass majority of the cast can talk, Mario can't even talk in, in this game. Like Super Mario Sunshine. I'm most for concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> you could say that mm -hmm, is a response all you want. It's not talking. Hell, even Bowser could talk in this game. Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Cooper Line is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. I am actually in the rare minority that I prefer Bowser talking like that instead of like this. Hey guys, uh, just a quick update. Uh, I ran out of storage on my tablet, so now I have to upload this video unfinished, but I